Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Friday's Daily Market Outlook. Crisis hit Toshiba Corp has regained access to a crucial $6 billion credit line after stumping up shares in its chip unit as collateral. But its lenders have imposed tough conditions. Russian cybersecurity firm Kaspersky Lab said on Wednesday it had fallen victim to geopolitical sparring between Russia and the United States, yet willing to cooperate however necessary. Iran is forming a government commission to oversee its deal with France's Total to develop the South Pars gas field. The euro-dollar pair continues to fluctuate within a tight range, with positive momentum accumulating in the five-hour and daily time frame. The dollar-yen pair bounced downwards clearly after approaching the 114.50 barrier yesterday to push on the bullish support. The sterling dollar pair is showing minor correction tendencies, affected by stochastic positivity, yet it is expected to resume the bearish bias shortly. The Aussie dollar pair shows a slight bearish bias, affected by the negative momentum that comes from the stochastic. The main bullish trend is expected to resume shortly. The U.S. retail sales will be released at 12.30 GMT, the Eurozone's trade balance at 10.00 GMT, the Japanese CFTC yen net positions at 19.30 GMT, the U.S. Consumer Price Index at 12.30 GMT, the U.S. Capacity Utilization at 13.15 GMT, and the U.S. Industrial Production at 13.15 GMT. That's all for Friday's Daily Outlook. Join us again tomorrow morning for more in-depth analysis of the market.